<laughs> Hi everybody, um, I'm Lorraine. Um, I've been with Nancy now, I think probably since early 2016. It's the very early days. Um, I was struggling along. I won't repeat everything that other people have said because I agree with all of that and more. Um, quite simply, the whole thing transformed me into an artist. Um, um, where I was at, I was painting, I was looking for rules and regulations and, and things that I'd been taught that just didn't feel right, didn't feel intuitive um, and really struggling. So I was looking for something that really resonated with me inside and helped me to bring out who I am as an artist and, and that very person is, is Nancy and all of you. Um, so I started on the journey a long time ago, and there are far, far, far too many things to, to list <laughs> here tonight. So, so <laughs> you're going to have to, you know, all of you are listening for the first time tonight, you're going to have to jump in and just learn uh, as you go. But things like the six maquettes, as everybody knows, you know, that is now my pièce de résistance, as they would say <laughs> around here. It's my go-to piece. Um, it's not just something that... Um, an exercise, it's part of my studio practice. Um, it gives me so, so much more than I can ever ex express tonight. But the whole process for me um, allowed me to paint and not know. Going, oh. going into the not knowing, trusting yourself, the letting, letting art come out, not trying to, um, I think as Marion said early on, not trying to get to, or uh, Elizabeth said, not trying to get to a finished piece straight away, because that is so constraining. And then, you know, that part of your brain comes in that starts to sort of say, oh, you shouldn't have done that. And you, you, know, don't that. <laughs> uh, let's, you know, let's not do that. Why don't we just get some white and, let's go and forget all about it? Um, <laughs> So, you know, I think you've all probably been there and done that. I know I have certainly, but I do try now not to, to do it quite so much. Right. But, um, uh, so I went through the whole thing with Nancy from beginning to end. And then uh, when you had your face to face workshop in California now, gosh, it was two years ago. God, I had to sign up and jump on a plane and, and go over and meet this wonderful person face to face. And I have to say I was not disappointed. It mm. was a great workshop. Um, we learned so much, but again, other fantastic artists who'd all got different backgrounds, styles, thoughts, challenges, all of those things um, were just so important. And I came home with a whole host of tools and, and confidence, I think. Um, I don't, I, hmm, do I, did I, do I? I I always suffer from <laughs> imp imp imposter syndrome. And I was going to say, do I still? Well, yes, I do. When I, when I actually have an exhibition or part of an exhibition, I go in there thinking, I'm not a real artist. I shouldn't be here. But, you know, my husband is very good at telling me that I should and I am. Wow. And it's that feeling that, you know, other people are artists. I'm not. Um, and, you know, there was there's some sort of Bible almost that says you should, if you follow A to, through to Z, you, you will become, you know, a wonderful artist. It's not that, is it? And so much of Nancy's teaching, her passion, her intellect, her intuition allows you to just be the person you are and the artist that you are. And I think for that, for me, um, it's just fabulous keep experimenting, keep evolving. I noticed on the uh, chat, somebody says, um, you know, did you find a style? It's really interesting because I'd been on another course before I met Nancy that was all about trying to find your style. Well, I've not found it yet and I don't <laughs> want to find it because if I find it, I'll be bored with it and I'll want to do something else with it. So I don't think I have found a style. I uh, weekly surprise myself and think, oh, that's interesting. Where did that come from? So that for me is important. And it means that I love being in my studio. I uh, think of Nancy's words daily and uh, I love it. So thank you all. Um, and thank you, Nancy. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Well, these are the kinds of rhetorical conversations we have, you know, about style no style, <laughs> critique, no critique, that all, all of that. And Lorraine is just, you're just such a fabulous person and artist and you share your heart and um, yeah, it's just been wonderful. And so these kinds of conversations are what we have in the masterclass. Um, and Lorraine, just so you know, 
I noticed that Sue said she loves that painting behind you. <laughs> it's, it's a green painting. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Kay knows this only too well. In fact, I put that up there for Kay tonight because I knew you'd be on. Um, everybody knows I hate green. Nancy knows I hate green, but I don't hate it now because Nancy encouraged me, um, inspired me to try something different with green. And believe it or not, I did a whole series of green paintings of which that's oh. one of them. But the first one that I did sold within two weeks. It was like, I, well, how did this happen? I don't even like green, but it seems everybody else does. So <laughs> I think green may well have a place in the studio now. If I recall that came out of our conversation, creative conversation together about green, how I want you green from the Lord, mm -hmm. Lorca poem. Yep. And you, as you know, poems, words, lyrics, music, yeah. they're all my inspiration. And I, I, you know, that was another fabulous um, example of a spark of a spark of inspiration that sent me scurrying off to the studio, searching for green and almost bathing in it. Anyway, <laughs> <there you go. laughs> That's great, Lorraine. And you even found another poem that was a riff, riff off of Lorca's mm. poem. So, it, I mean, Lorraine just takes it and runs with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Lorraine. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah.